just turned this chair upside down and I can see the ridge here of the springs and it seems higher this side than that side. So when I remove this, I'm going to have to re-web underneath and push these further down so that they are more in place. This could be that the webbing has already stretched. I am wondering actually if, this is me being a little bit cautious, but I'm wondering whether this is that elastic webbing that they use because it is quite thin. I'll take these out and we will have a peek underneath to see whether my hunch on the webbing is correct. Elastic webbing just is, in my opinion, trash, but people use it. It's cheap, I suppose. But to me, anything that's elasticated will always give a lot sooner than something that's just 100% cotton or linen or whatever so anyway let's have a look so I've opened it up and it's exactly what I thought and they also have the webbing across the top which doesn't really stabilize the top of the springs I now have to re-web the bottom and tie those in which is annoying because this is meant to be done in three days for a special occasion the person or the people that put this in or designed this they put the springs in and they webbed them in rather than sewed them in but this means that they're all out of line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my ruler like this and I am going to make them into a straight line. All I have to do is push them along. That one looks okay. This one obviously doesn't. They're still not going to be perfect because they really need to be done from the base up, but they will be more in line. Oh my goodness, this is terrible than they were. All I'm doing is trying to line up the centers a little bit better. This is obviously one way of putting the springs in but it's not the best way. If you find your springs are like this don't take them out. They're workable you just got to work with them. Although this pulls this way I think it'll be fine because I'm going to be webbing over the top and with a tape measure see if I can get them even from the front at least and then even to each other so they form a nice square in the center. I think that's it. I have half inch staples. Literally staple this over the top. I could take them out and start again, but that's really not worth it. This will sort the problem out. Fold it over like you would do normally. I am going to pin this in so it's nice and tight like that, and then pull this over the top. So when you've pulled it right in, secure it again. Cut your length off, again fold it up like that and secure it again. Because it's double webbed, it's a little bit difficult to get the new webbing into place. So make sure that you thread it underneath the top one, above the bottom one. And then once you've done that, you can then slide everything into position. It shouldn't make any difference to where you've placed the springs but you can alter those once this is in place. And again staple into position. I'm going to sew these in like I would do normally. I've got my string here, I've got a very long piece and on the end there's a loop so I'm going to pull this down almost through. It'll come up next to the spring not through your twine and then put your needle through the loop for the first one and pull it all the way through. Pull it relatively tight or as tight as it will go and then to the back end I'm going to put four loops holding this into place because it would be easier to put that through. Because it's so long try not to get it caught up anywhere. If you can come up through the green webbing although it really doesn't matter because if you have them sewn in, the green webbing will just stay in place Ow. anyway. And because it's webbed at the top, it just makes it a lot more difficult. Take it back down so your spring is caught in place and then work up to the next spring and do exactly the same thing on all of the springs. Then they won't walk again like they had. Once you've got the base in, start wriggling into place so this should be exactly above the base, which is going to be a little bit awkward because they are so out of kilter. I just have to do the best I can. Look down from the top, there we go, until you've got them where you need to. 
What a mess. All they had to do is do it. Even if they'd just put stitches on here, it would have been fine. Of course, the webs are not straight, but because they're elastic ones, they'd be fine. It might sound bad, but I'm not doing it knotting them with this in here. I might as well use what they've got. Once they're all sewn in, they won't move. I've sewn the top of the springs in. I've stuck that down because that was how it was before. And now I am putting the original foam back in. It's a little bit more proud than it was, which is a bit annoying. The foam itself is in quite good shape, so I don't really need to change that out. 